The Lay of the Trilobite A mountain's giddy height I sought, because I could not find sufficient vague and mighty thought to fill my mighty mind. And as I wandered, ill at ease, there chanced upon my sight a native of Silurian seas, an ancient trilobite. So calm, so peacefully he lay, I watched him even with tears. I thought of monads far away in the forgotten years. How wonderful it seemed and right, the providential plan that he should be a trilobite and I should be a man. And then, quite natural and free, out of his rocky bed, that trilobite he spoke to me. And this is what he said. I don't know how the thing was done, although I cannot doubt it. But Darwin, he, if any one, can tell you all about it. How all your faiths are ghosts are dreams. How in the silent sea your ancestors were monotremes, whatever these may be. How you evolved your shining lights of wisdom and perfection from jellyfish and trilobites by natural selection. You've trumped to make your brains go round. You've Trudeau to clear them. You've Sudoku to confound and Mr. Punch to cheer em. The native of an alien land you call a man and brother and greet him with a deportation in one hand and a pistol in the other. But I am gentle, stupid, free from woe. I lived among my nation. I didn't care. I didn't know that I was a crustacean. I didn't grumble, didn't steal, I never took to rhyme. Salt water was my frugal meal, and carbonate of lime. Reluctantly I turned away, no other word he said. An ancient trilobite, he lay within his rocky bed. I did not answer for him, for that would have annoyed my pride. I merely bowed and raised my hat, but in my heart I cried. I wish our brains were not so good. I wish our skulls were thicker. I wish that evolution could have stopped a little quicker. For, oh, it was a happy plight of liberty and ease to be a simple trilobite in these Silurian seas.